Hello and welcome. Today we are talking about how it's easy to create a Flickety slider with scripts organizer inside the oxygen builder. So uh, we are using the one of the oxygen default design sets and it's a speakers page. So let's just dive into the oxygen and prepare it. For this exercise, uh, you can use the repeater, or uh, in this case, I'm just going to duplicate the divs. I'm going to remove this one and this one, and I'm going to remove this one. I'm going to give a width of the 100%. and uh, minimum height, maybe 500, perfect. Let's save it and I'm going to duplicate it a couple of times. Uh, you can duplicate it by clicking the pen icon and, and duplicate or at the moment I'm using the Swiss knife shore shortcuts and let's save it and prepare the script organizer for car carousel what we need to do first is to download the files uh, css and the js or we can use the cdn link i prefer to download the files i already done it for tutorial to speed it up and we are going to script organizer Scripts Manager, uh, flick it CSS, CSS is going to be in a footer, save, JS. Perfect, save, and sorry, uh, I said this will be in a footer, the CSS is always going to the header for a better performance. We're going to save it, and we're going to code blocks. Slider, publish. Inside the code block, we need a script manager, we need a CSS, and we need the JS and uh, we can target just the page speakers perfect and we need the footer because we're writing the JavaScript here We need a jQuery document ready function dollar sign close it curly brackets perfect. What we need to do now is we need to find the example code and we are going to do it with the jQuery paste it save it and now we need to go here give it a class save it paste the class here save it and preview it okay let's see why this is not working this should be good Check 
query document event function. Sorry, this should be ready. Okay, perfect. And now the first thing that you will notice it's a uh, the slides are missing and I was banging my head a couple of times about this one and the trick is to set the wrapper to be layout block because if it's a flag box the flickety will not work. So if you refresh it and here it is. It's a fully functional slider, so you can now tweak the CSS and that's it. Room height, you can probably set this one. This is a only ID, but uh, let's just fix it quickly on first two sliders so I don't need to do the creating the, the class. This is just for a preview and perfect. It's working. And as you can see, the rest are smaller. And we can do some small final tunings like uh, margin bottom margin bottom okay, 50 pixels preview perfect and uh, for more for for more uh, slider options you can scroll down press options and here you can uh, see all the available options for a uh, Flickety slider that you can just uh, copy and paste into the code block and you're ready to go. Thank you for watching. Hope uh, this will make your life easier for creating a sliders if you need them. Bye.